Hello and welcome to the video for how do I position things in UMG. I've gone ahead and created a new user interface widget and by default it comes with the root and a canvas panel. The reason for the coming with the canvas panel is the canvas panel allows you to position things absolutely and use anchors. We'll go ahead and throw an image on here and I'll give you an example. By default any new children of the canvas panel get the slot canvas panel properties and are anchored to the top left. This is how you position items inside of UMG. Usually your top most set of parameters will be your positioning for UMG. Positioning is determined on a child to parent basis. The children inherit, inherit their positioning ability from the parent. The parent determines what and how the positioning is done. By having a canvas panel as the parent, this image is allowed to have this for its positioning abilities. If I was to put a horizontal box in here, you will notice the horizontal box has the same for its positioning, but a child of the horizontal box has different. It only has padding, size, and alignment. It no longer has the exact positioning abilities. That is just simply the way the horizontal box works. The horizontal box attempts to fill things in in a horizontal fashion. Vertical box, same thing. Uniform grid panel and a grid panel, same thing. Overlay, it attempts to fill things inside of it. For example, take an overlay, slap an image in it, you'll notice the same things. Except you're actually missing one of those other options. That's just simply how it works. Everything has its own quirks. We'll go ahead and start with the canvas panel. You'll notice you have anchoring. It determines where it anchors. We want to pick the middle, for example. We now have an anchor in the middle. Positioning is relative to the anchor. Size is relative based on size to content and the item inside of it. If we want this button to be in the middle, based on our anchor, you would assume it's a zero, zero position, but you would be incorrect. You also have your alignment. Alignment determines where along the X and the Y of your child, this item we have, our image, the actual anchor point sticks to. So on a 0 to 1, halfway is 0 0.5. 0 to 1, halfway is 0 0.5. If we change our alignment to 0 0.5 and 0 0.5, you'll now notice it's perfectly centered based on where we want it. We can change our image to be, for example, 500 by 500. We now have a perfectly anchored to the center square. And if we were to run this, you would find resizing it, it will stay anchored to the center. That is what the canvas panel gives its children. It gives this exact positioning, absolute positioning ability. Horizontal box and vertical box and overlay give its children based on filling size or automatic size based on the content. It, right now we have an image set to fill 100%. It will fill up a horizontal box. Since we only have one item, it will take up the entire space. If we were to put another item in, you'll now notice this item takes up automatically as much space as it needs and this other item fills the rest. If we were to change this, for example, to fill 100%, it now splits 100% 100% based on the total weighted percentage. That is how you use a horizontal box. Vertical box and grids work the same way. They're based on how much space the children are going to take up. So keep that in mind. That is the important thing when you're working with UMG and positioning. Positioning in UMG is in a child-parent relationship. The children inherit their positioning abilities from the parent. The parent determines how the children will be positioned. Each parent, which is primarily panels, canvas panels, grid panels, boxes like horizontal box and vertical box, have different properties they will pass down to their children. So make sure you use the correct panel and parent for the correct children.